Hello there once again everyone, it is another day of spoiler season and another set of relics for us to take a look at. It's time to teleport relics. I'll play the video first before we get into some discussion. Alright, so we've got three teleport relics this time around, up from the two that we had last year. And we don't know what tier these are in yet, but you can kind of safely assume they'll probably be tier two relics, because they were last year. At least Fairy's Flight was. The other two are brand new. We don't have the equivalent of Globetrotter that we had last year. That's okay, because it was not very good. It just gave you all the teleports that you already are able to unlock. I definitely like these ones a lot more. We'll start with Fairy's Flight. This is one that already existed last year. Teleport to any fairy, ring, spirit tree, or to a leprechaun with an item that you get given the fairy mushroom, which can be wielded in the offhand. I'm guessing all of these can be wielded in the offhand, just to make sense. The briefcase makes sense. I'm not sure about the compass, but it could make sense in the offhand. Unlocking the relic will auto-complete Tree Gnome Village this time, so you can actually use the spirit trees as well, which will also mean you can grow spirit trees without access to candoring. Nice thing to have. And the item ignores wilderness teleport restrictions. Can't be used to teleport to an area you haven't unlocked, of course. So, Fairy's Fight, very good tool. I'm going to be going over the different locations and comparing these with maps in a moment. I'm just quickly going to summarise what each one is first. Bank Heist. Same thing, you get an item that has the same rules on it, except this one teleports to any deposit box, bank or bank chest. Simple enough, get yourself to any bank. And Clue Compass will teleport you to any stash unit and follow the bard as well as your current clue step. It says no, this will not work on clue steps that require to kill a certain NPC. I think that means like if you get a task that says kill a hellhound, it's not just going to teleport you to a random hellhound. But you know, if you get a step where you dig and see a Saradomin wizard, then it will teleport you to that because it's a dig step, not a kill NPC step. And yeah, same rules on that one. Stash units, current clue step. So these are the options. And I think they're, they're fairly balanced, to be honest. If I had to say the weakest one, I would say Bank Heist, probably. Just because banks are easy to get to anyway, and you only really need one, right? You can get wherever you go in from any bank. You don't need to be at the closest bank to where you're going. So I'd say this one's probably the weakest, but I'm sure it has plenty of uses. And maybe future relic reveals put this in an actually better position for whatever reason. So I'd just keep an eye on it. But right now, this is my least favorite of the three. Okay, let's go over the actual maps. So this is the map of bank heist locations. All of the bank heist teleports. You can see it's quite a good spread. We've got like shit basically everywhere except the wilderness. There's some in like zones that can't be seen here. So like in Prifdinus obviously there's banks, you'd be able to get there as well. None of these maps show the extra locations like that. But yeah, this is a decent, like you'd expect because there's banks everywhere. It's a pretty, pretty decent spread of coverage here. Whereas the other two do have a bit less. If we look at Clue Compass, you'll see there's far less over on the left hand side here than there is on Bank Heist. Uh, but a lot more concentrated in this middle area of the map around here with Clue Compass. 
Apologies for the different colours, I think that's just the tiers of stash unit that it is. So this is Clue Compass. Less over here, as you can see, in Valamore. Not that many to do. I mean, you can get to this place very easily anyway with a pendant of it. Or here, so like, this is easy to get to, this is easy to get to. What we're looking at over here. I mean, you can get here very easily. All there. All there. There's nothing crazy there, really. That's very easy to get to. That's very easy to get to. That one's a good spot. There's no good teleports here. That is a very nice spot, actually. That one's not bad, but pretty easy to run there from the correct teleport. And this one's nice for the soul as well. What else we got over here? Chitizo, some ore there. I can't remember what. I think that might be a rune rock. Would be useful, I guess. But, like, you're not going to have many worlds to hop through to get it, so... Lighthouse. Already has a fairy ring here. Middle of here isn't useful. You can get that with a game's necklace. Maybe slightly useful, this one. But well, anytime you'd want to go down there, you'd be using the compass's teleport to go directly there anyway for a clue step. Fishing guild's easy to get to. This is not somewhere you'd ever really want to go. This is somewhere that's easy to get to. West Ardy, I guess, is not a terrible location, but how often do you want to come here? Zoom puts you slightly over this side. It's a maybe slightly more convenient teleport than just straight into Ardy for certain runs but so the reason i'm going in depth on this one is because there's been a lot of hype around it people really like this clue compass one and i don't think it's as good as people are saying there's castle wars teleport here watchtower teleport here you nil teleport here that one is one that this teleport would get you to when you need it anyway for a clue step see this is the thing they're all like that aren't they because they're all all clue steps okay type of one eye Shiloh Village, it's not a bad teleport. Type of one eye is not bad either, but it's not that far of a run. It's just a bit of an awkward run, both of these. That's massive point, that's easy to get to. In Shrana, I imagine you just get kicked straight off, you won't be able to teleport in. Maybe, I don't know. Catham is easy to get to, Legends Guild. Oblin Village one's alright, I guess. Mountain Daughter, maybe, for a couple of odd activities. A few of the Wilderness ones aren't bad. So the Wilderness is kind of a, a tough area to n teleport around, generally, because of the usual restrictions. But there are some cool spots here that you could just use to get somewhere that you need to be, because there aren't that many teleports to areas in the Wilderness, is, is what I mean. Like getting here for the Slay Cave, here for the bandit general store is really good in fact it's already inside the room so that's a really nice one here for the deep cave pick up some steel plate bodies in the early game sell them for cash magic axes i guess that gets you to the resource area but yeah that's not really that good of a one this one would be nice to get to lava dragons a bit quicker when you've got another fountain of rune as well. oh no no sorry that's the um the molten lava forge thingy might be relevant though to get there. What we got down here? There's one right by the lumber yard. Could be useful. One in Lumbridge Swamp, maybe? Occasionally useful. I don't know. There's there's not that much really here that you can't get to anyway. This one's not bad. Like th this is nice, yeah, but if you have a Pharaoh Scepter, you'd be able to get here anyway, and if you don't have a Pharaoh Scepter, you have to get one, so you'll g just go get one. <laughs> the crazy jungle, sure, that's nice, but who cares? I feel like I'm shitting on it now. It's not bad. I don't I don't hate Clue Compass. I just don't think it's as good like as OP as people are making it out to be. I think it's pretty comparable to Fairy's Flight, and honestly, Bank Heist has the best coverage of teleports in different areas to give you the most balanced way to get around. Like, you've got teleports everywhere you need, basically, but it's not going to get you anywhere unique. You're used to being able to teleport to those places, so it doesn't open up any new paths to destinations. Blue Compass does, 
because you've got new places to start off. Like this one at Zolro is not actually bad, but you can get there with a fairy ring just as easily in an agility level, which you'll have anyway, so yeah. And then there's Fairy's Flight, of course. This is the one with two leprechauns are the green ones here, so they're the ones you're not used to. Fairy rings are the red ones, which obviously most people are fairly familiar with by this point. But the tall leprechauns can be super spicy. I know last year I used this one constantly because it was my closest one to a bank right here. I teleport in, go to bank, get a slayer task if I needed one. <laughs> but also for farm runs, they were super useful. And just for getting around, there was a fossil island one that was super great. That's miscellaneous. What am I doing? Yeah, fossil island here with got those teleports straight to crabs on day one it was fantastic less in the desert perhaps but most of the places have some say is a bit light they are in valamar are a bit light on the fairies flight but they were just as light on clue compass so i actually think bank heist is not that bad like now that i'm looking at the comparison i feel like this coverage is just way way better but these are just more unique locations to come to in clue compass and fairies flight this might be like a noob trap bank heist, which doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It might be the, I don't want to think about anything fancy. I just want to be able to go to places that I already am familiar with, like that relic, which is fine. Whereas the people who want to get a bit spicy and creative might go for Clue Compass or Fairy's Flight. Personally, I am currently thinking Valmor, Zaya, to Ranwin. So I don't think the Clue Compass one's that good for me because there's fuck all over here and Fairy's Flight has a similar amount, I guess, but I just, I, I just know it. I know it, you know? I've just been able to get to any patch, any fairy ring without having to walk to a different fairy ring. You just teleport straight there. It's, it's good. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Have you decided already? Are you waiting for more info before you figure it out? Or at least until you get into the league and just do whatever you feel like on the day? Definitely some great options here. Don't forget to hit that like button as well and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you stay up to date with all my future content, including the rest of the reveals and leagues itself when it does commence. Yeah, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.